Is the audience dumb? Everybody out there dumb? We number one for 11 and a half years because we dumb? You know that Damian Woody scored over 1,600 on his SATs? Ryan Clark, dumb. Molly Karam, dumb. Lewis Riddick, dumb. Dan Orlovsky, dumb. Mina Kimes, brilliant. Mina Kimes, dumb. Jeff Saturday, before he went to the Indianapolis coach job, dumb. Mad Dog Russo, a Hall of Fame broadcaster, dumb. Dave Roberts, who's been an executive for decades, dumb. Norby Williamson, who's been one of the elite executives in the business for decades, dumb. They all worked under John Skipper, Dan Lebertard, your partner, our former boss, who I profoundly respect and appreciate. He had dumb people working under him. Bob Iger appointed him. Bob Iger dumb, one of the greatest executives in American history. George Bodenheimer, the former president, was also one of the people that appointed him. George Bodenheimer, a brilliant executive and one of the most decent human beings you'll ever find on the planet Earth. Dumb. They were dumb. I don't usually spend my time addressing my colleagues because I respect all of them. But I ain't going to take that shit from y'all. I'm the dumb one. I'm the one who got left back in the fourth grade with a first grade reading level. I'm the one who had undiagnosed dyslexia. I'm the one who still reads things twice because I still don't have full confidence of my comprehension from time to time because I still have the residue of when I was younger and I got left back. I'm the dumb one compared to everybody I mentioned. My producers, former ones like Antoine Lewis, present ones like Pete McConville, Tom DeCordy, and James Dunn, and David McKinnon and these brothers. Working with Greeny, working with the brilliant Mike Wilbon, friends with Tony Kornheiser for years. The Hall of Famer Mike Breen, Mark Jackson, the incomparable Doris Burke. Those are my colleagues. I'm the dumb one compared to all of them. 